Hello YouTubers. Well, again, it's time to work on this blue beetle. Today we are going to be doing this uh, power steering return line. Runs all the way up to, I guess, like the radiator and up here into the rack and pinion. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to get you dizzy. Runs all the way up here into the uh, rack and pinion somewhere in there. Can you see? Yeah. So we're gonna remove that one and put another one in. I don't know if it's gonna be used or brand new. This shouldn't be a very hard job, but you know, you never know till you get into it. You've got that 10 millimeter uh, bolt right there to remove that clamp or clip, and then you got that clamp you need to remove. And uh, here on this side, got another 10 millimeter bolt, which isn't uh, screwed on there right anyway. And then another clip up there. Let's see how it goes. Okay, it begins. Get that little booger out. I think once it gets loose, you can take it out with your finger or something. Maybe not. Right, just still doing it. Yeah, okay. Maybe not. Nope. Maybe not. All right. This is what that little bolt looks like. And then this one is the same thing as that one. But as you can see, this one's not hooked up. It was loose already. So let's concentrate again over here. And see how hard it's going to be to unhook that line. Okay, I've got a little bucket down there to catch all that uh, power steering fluid if it wants to uh, gush out this clamp and I'll probably replace this clamp with you know me I always put those other clamps on because I can't stand those kind of clamps let's get this all the way back here let me get my uh, little helpers here to kind of break the seal and that hose doesn't look good at all i'm afraid i'm gonna mess too much with it i don't want to have to replace the damn hose Nothing a little brake clean can't take care of. Okay, now we're gonna do the back side. Kind of a tight squeeze there, huh? That one came out good. All right. Now let's poke around there with this first. See how bad this one's gonna be. Oh, this one's moving. go all right youtuber here's the line it's full of oil and it's got a leak somewhere in here it's got a little bitty hole that's why we're changing it out in the junkyard again looking for parts in the heat and walking my butt we're at H&H &H Savage Yard Pretty, they got a pretty good selection of vehicles out here and there. Have everything organized, Chevys, Dodge, Toyotas, Nissans. Makes it easier to find what you're looking for. The only thing is they charge two bucks to come in. Sometimes you can't find what you need and you spend two bucks. But oh, what the heck, it's fine just walking in here, looking at all these vehicles. All right, we're getting somewhere here. Gym cars. Nope, that's not what I need. I need to head this way. Here we go. Nissan. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a 2003 Nissan Altima 3.5. I know here they only have the 2.5 last time I was in here. But I need a power steering return line. 
and I think the Maxima 3.5 would be the same. This is one that I was looking at earlier and I just lifted the motor and chunked it up there. Nah, just kidding. All right, we reached our destination. Altima's galore, Maxima's galore right here. And I left my jack in the uh, car, but there's jacks everywhere here, those cheap little scissor jacks, they'll work. Let's look at one that I can get to. Maybe I can get to this one. Yeah, I think this line will work. Let's look at another one. Damn, I, damn, I can't see the ones that are on the ground. I have my jack if I need to go get it, but I don't want to lug that 80 pounder. See, like this one, I don't need the jack. Let's see. I can squeeze through here and get that line, huh? Yeah, let's check it out. What do you think, amigos? That looks like it'll fit. I think it will. I have to do a little twisting. 15 bucks compared to uh, $90 at O'Reilly. Should work. But just in case, we're gonna look around a little bit more. This one's opened up. This is a Rogue. I don't think that'll work. Okay, 3.5 Maxima. Sorry, Maxima. Damn. Oh, this one will be easy. Look at it. it. Took it on sitting there waiting for me. Let's go get it and match it up, see if it works. Hmm, that's uh pretty damn close. Hmm. Okay guys, I found one. So y'all know 2.5 Altima. Let's see what year we have here. <sighs> but it's a 2.5 and it's perfect i measured it with that one and it aligns perfect so this is gonna be it i'm gonna waste time with those dumb clips i'm gonna cut the holes There, got it. I don't know how well y'all can see this, but now that I have it off, I'll mess with these stupid clips. And I'll leave them here because I do not use these shitty clips. There's one. There's the other one. Sorry, I didn't bring my tripod, so I don't know if I'm out of focus or what things you can have here. These, I can try to take them off when I get to the shop. I'll just cut them off. What the heck? I said, I don't know if I'm out of focus or y'all can see, but I'm cutting that hose off. There's one. That's a good thing about the junk out when you're not going to use parts. You can just cut them off. See guys, don't worry about bringing cushions to lay down on. That's a blanket there. I used a door panel or a, I don't know what it was. And look, see, there's a jack. Somebody used a jack. These jacks are everywhere. So I'm not too worried when I come here. Uh, worrying about a jack. Usually I find one of those cheap ones. Okay, I'm happy. I got my stuff. I don't mind going to the junkyard for simple little stuff. I won't go pull trannies or motors anymore. That's a pain in the butt. Look at these cars. Some of them are buried. Weeds, ant, those red ants. What kinds of bugs crawling on you? But something like this, I knew I'd find one with the motor out and I could get to it real quick. And uh, gives me a chance to get out of the shop and take a walk and just take a breather instead of being cooped up. Uh, racking my head on the same car it gives me a breather plus that 30 minute walk if you're having a hard time with that part you're gonna replace that gives you time to walk here and think about it how am I gonna go at it how am I gonna approach it by the time you get to the shop you already have 
four different ideas of how to do it. <sighs> We're almost there. We're on the home stretch. Once we hit that little path there, it's home free home. Oh, transmissions. Oh man. Go in there and pay and get out of here. This is gonna run me about $13 compared to the $80 that they were gonna pay at AutoZone or O'Reilly's. Somebody's lugging something heavy on the other side of this fence. Oh well. Oh, there she is. Let's get out of here. Okay, YouTubers, we're fixing to put the new line in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that shitty clamp back on because I don't have any of mine. So let's see what happens. I'm trying to put this in there, guys. So one thing I also hate is these dang uh, hoses and trying to pop them out of there and stuff. Okay, now I'm gonna do this in. Okay, we're in the front now. I'm gonna try to stick that hose in the front now here. And we, remember, we cut it, so I don't know if it's gonna be too short now. You know what, I think I'm gonna have to uh, use some more holes. Let me, uh, I brought some holes from the junkyard, so let me use that piece that I brought because it's gonna be too short. Okay, there's the front clamp. And it was facing up, so I needed to face down so I can get it with my pliers. So all I did, well, let me drop the camera, is grab around it and twist it. Sorry guys, can you still see? Yeah. See, I think we've got it turned around enough where the pliers will do the first of the job. There, see? Now, damn camera wants to take a nap. Okay, just turn it around so we can loosen it up. Okay, now as I turn it, I'm gonna pull it from over here. And it'll come out. It should, oh, you know what? We can cut this one too. Oh. Grab this hose and shove it in there. There, we're in a few that will get reused. Usually y'all go in the shit can. But, you caught me in a day that I don't. Okay, don't know how well you can see, but now we're gonna go ahead and put this line. And I'm gonna want it kind of long. I think I'll cut it right here at this, right here at this uh, curve. All right, let's see if it's gonna go in. Let's go, Mom. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's good enough. Oh my God. That thing is hard, okay? Let me see if this goes. Oh my God, I'm tired. The sun's beating on me and I'm in an awkward position. This should work. Okay, I got the lines on, but I'm not gonna put the tire or the brackets on. I'm gonna turn the wheel left and right a few times so that uh, fluid will go down. I already did it a little bit, so it already went down, but let's see if it'll go down some more. And you wanna do that uh, several times, left and right, to get all the air bubbles out. I 
want to do it too fast or it'll squirt out of the reservoir. Now look in here and see if you got any leaks. That's dry. And uh, that's dry. No leaks in there. Oh, you can't see. I can't get the tripod in. Take it off the tripod. Where you at? No leaks. So now I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to add some more and then we'll turn it on. Because this time I think it's going to suck it down. It's so clean now, I can't even see where it's at. We're up there. Let me fire it up. Let's see if the tripod don't fall. Okay, it did go down, and you see all the air pockets. Air bubbles. It's got air in there right now. Let me show you real quick. I don't know if you can see you need to let it run till some of those uh, disappear. Now I'm gonna turn the wheel left and right. Up here everything looks good, no leaks. It's circulating, air bubbles are going away. Let's look in the bottom. Let's look in the bottom. No leaks. No leaks over there. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and clamp these down so they'll be away from the uh, uh, CD axle, or else it's gonna rub like the other one and cut it. And then we got a four piece scratches where they go. One goes there, and the other one's in the back, right there. But anytime you replace a power steering pump or a line or a reservoir, you always wanna don't turn on the car right away. You'll run that pump dry and you'll burn it. Add a little uh, power steering fluid. Turn the wheel left and right. Get some of that fluid in there. Then you can add some fluid, then turn it on. And if it starts whining, turn it off right away. And then turn the wheel left and right again. This one didn't whine, but I had some they, they start whining or just put more uh, power steering fluid right away so you won't burn that pump. Look at that, that's looking good. Hardly any bubbles in there now. I'll let it run a little bit longer. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Okay. We're done up here. All right, YouTubers, look how nicely that sat right there. The line, it's off the frame. It's not touching on anything that's gonna make it break again. It's a perfect fit right there. Beautiful. Mwah. All right, guys, let's put the tire on. All right, YouTubers, there's old Christine next to uh, Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle's running good now. No leaks. It'll run good for a while now. Anyway, guys, that's how you uh, replace uh, return nine for the power steering on a 2003 nissan altima oh check this out Ta -da! got that put on the back of my car so i can advertise i'm gonna get some more for the side anyway let's go back to this one thanks for watching and like always i really appreciate you and y'all guys are awesome god bless Man, look at the mess I made. Time to bust out with the cat litter. Ay, 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 it's the way. And you wonder why they call you Messy Marvin.